Hey guys, welcome back to another video from an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Right, so let's move on. So, what's happening today? Well, I've got the mower out. I've looked at the BBC weather and Friday and Saturday should be sunny. Should be. And maybe a little bit of Sunday, maybe, inshallah. So, I'm going to get the mower going and I've got to get, got to get a lot of shit done all the way down in through here. But before then, I want to go back to our stoning remember we laid all the stones down in through here the sand and um, the chickens made a big hole in here where it was all light so i've just quashed it down and put the hose on it to make it a little bit wetter so what i'm doing now because this is very dry you got to get it if it's too wet it won't move it just get bogged down if it's too dry it's just dust so i want to go through here and hit all this again see here look where the chicken's been digging it up so i've got to wetten all this down then um, I head around the back over here to this area here. But first, I've got to rake up all the, all the um, goat droppings, get all that out the way, and uh, get the goats out, get the turkeys out, and then I can run up and down through here again. So, this is what I'm going to be doing this morning. Goats are whinging like shit, especially Samson. I tell you, for a stud ball, you're a fucking big girl. You. You're a big girl. You. You. You're a big girl. Totally a big ass girl. Fucking whinge. That's all he does is whinge. Seriously, God, you're sick of fucking hearing him. You know? So, what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to rake up all their poo poos. That she calls it their poo poos. Okay, okay dolls. And um, I'm going to get back in through all here. And then I'll get the ride on going. So, uh, a bit of raking to do first. Samson, shut up. Guys, the pain now, seriously. All the, all the other guys that we had as stud bulls, all the Billy's, Billy 1, Billy 2, Billy 3, and all that shit. Nothing like him. They were all, you know, macho bastards, you know. All right, so let's get into it. Right, this area came up pretty well because it was still sheltered from the sun. It wasn't so dry. So um, this has come up quite good. I'm pleased with this. The other area is a bit dry. I need to wet it down with a hose again. But this has come along quite nice, nice and firm, packed in, as firm as a young bum. Nice, tight, young ass. So, ah, oh. So Chick's just come and reminded me, she said, Hunter, we've got to get that air con on the car done this morning. I said, oh, fuck, I forgot. No problem, I said, go and shower, and um, I'll be there. So when I come back, I've got to cut all these ones down here, at the front, the back. I've got to dampen this down, and uh, do some raking. Then that, that's all finished. This area repacked it quite nice where the chickens dug it up. And then I have to go around with a barrow and pick up all the coconuts and pile them all up. Pile at the front, there's a pile up the back, pile here and a pile at the front house. Now at the moment, at the moment, it happens every year in January, January, February, the price of coconuts just drops down through the arse. So we're not, like we're due for a harvest now, but we're just not gonna fucking do it. Because last harvest we got nine peso a kilo. And this, this harvest, I think uh, now, not this harvest, but now, the current price is three pesos. Three fucking pesos. So what you do is, right, just collect them all up. Just leave them on the tree. Don't bother harvesting them. If anything falls down, just collect them all up and leave the bastards. Don't, don't, don't de-husk them. Because as soon as you de-husk them, you've got to sell them. You've got to keep them in the shade because they'll heat up and they'll just explode. Bang. The pressure inside will actually explode. But with the husk on, of course, they're all fully insulated. Now, some people say, oh yeah, but you know, when they're dry, they're hardest to get off. Who gives a fuck? You know, the point is, three pesos a kilo to nine pesos. So it's at the moment, it's a third of the price. A third of the price. So what I'll do later, I've got to go right around, even Mary Lou's side all through here. Because Mary Lou, we, we have all her coconuts as well. They're out on loan to us at the moment. So um, she hasn't got many trees, I think. May only, she wouldn't even have about 20 trees on there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, she may have 20 trees, may, may have. So, um, like I said, we just don't harvest at the moment. So, what I'll do now is I'll go and clean up because we've got to go in and get the aircon regassed in town. So, TTFN, I'll see you in town. Right, well, we're at the aircon guy. And Chick phoned him up and he said, yeah, come any time, you don't need a booking, just rock on in. So he said, all right then. So he turned in and there's no one here. 
So it's got a few phone numbers more to try, different from the ones that she spoke to him on. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Weird shit, man. Well, guys, so we're all back, back on the Aussie farm again, back in the Philippines. So, well, that was a waste of time into town. Like, um, I said, you ring him up next time, make sure he's definitely there. She's, oh, but he's he come any time. I said, yeah, but, you know, ring him, check, please. So, we come back home again. We try getting bananas along the way for her goats, because she feeds all them bananas of the morning. But uh, they're a special type, but no one's got any. So now we're back home. So what I'm doing now is taking all the uh, palm fronds down from around here. Ones that are leaning down onto the roof. and get rid of those. Then I'll go around and start picking up all the coconuts that have fallen and uh, collect all those up together, put them in the pile. So that's what we're gonna be doing, boys and girls. When these are dry, these are not the best to try and cut through. Let's try again two hands. And these aren't too bad. I cut all these ones back, probably about every two months you've got to cut them back. See these big bastards here that go onto the roof? These big bastards. And this one here. So if I cut them back, and I say I don't have to come back again. Oh, look at that, beautiful. I don't have to come and cut these ones back. See, like this big bastard up here, look. Down on the fence. So I'll get in and clean them up. Then I can move over. Oh. Oh. So they use these, these end bits here. They use them in their dirty kitchen for wood, for their cooking. That's what they use them for. And the fronds, the old lady will come down, cut all them up. And she uses them for making her brooms, our witch's brooms. But I cut the tops off, the top half off, I give it for the goats, because the goats love, love the coconuts. They love the bastards. Hey, hey. So as long as you keep, keep it, they don't, they don't like food on the ground. You know, you see some people, they get a branch and they walk up and they'll throw it in a goat pen on the floor. Well, goats don't like that shit, you know? It's like if they walk on it or tread on it, piss on it or shit on it, no way, I'm having that shit, man. Right, we've got two more to get off of this one yet. Right. Okay, so inside's done. Now, this is the easiest way, this is way to pick up these coconuts, right? Get a big pointy bastard and stab him. There you go. Look at that. Like I said, we won't, we won't de-husk any of these. Come on, get off, bitch. You won't de husk any of these because you have to sell them straight away. And at um, three pesos a kilo, it's certainly not worth it. So I'll get this area cleaned up here so that tomorrow morning, nice and early, probably about seven o'clock, I'll come down and uh, hit all this with the right on mower in the morning. So the whole lot will be back to sexy Lexi again. Until then, finish picking up all this fronds that are on the ground here <sighs> so one thing to be sure of guys don't ever spend long time underneath the coconut trees move right away from them because they fall down and we had them up the driveway and i kept telling them we got to cut these bastards down but of course no one listened to me and one day mum was walking from the front down towards the gate one comes down bang knocks mum out cold mate she comes through and she's like what happened i said now will you cut the fucking coconut trees down so a couple of days later we got the trees cut down so that was good so the thing is with these ones they fall on the left hand side they'll just fall down no problem but the ones on the right hand side here where it's bent they'll fall down hit the trunk and they can bounce out six meters they can bounce out so the idea is get in get out be like a bank robber get in and get out right so that's the back done you beauty now to the front i've got half an hour before i have to feed all the animals so with that half an hour, most of these I got picked up the other day, so I think it's only a couple of a couple of fronds have fallen down. Spots for snakes. Uh, little one here. Uh. Uh. So this is good, we get to throw these over the fence. Look at that bloody big snake was the other day. Big bastard come down there through the lemon grass. Nearly tread on him when I was carrying these bloody ferns. Ah, oh, that's my dog. Yeah. Chick went down there last night to get some lemon grass for tea. And I said, take the big stick and beat the bastard. Bash like hell around it. 
Because if they're curled up sleeping in there, you'll know about it if they come out and bite you. What are these? What are these doing way over here? Hey, get off this tree over here. How bizarre. Rats maybe carried them over. Carried them over. Another thing to be careful of, guys, seriously. I picked one of these up one day and there was a snake asleep up underneath in the shade of the uh, fronds. I tell you, that scared the shit out of me, I tell you. All right, there's only two down here, so that's good. All right, so these are all chicks' plants for her goats. She, she planted all these and uh, she comes down with a barrow each day, each morning, gives them a heap of bananas to eat and she picks all these for them as well. But big ass you in tree there. Look. Oh, look at the joints everywhere. Uh, these are baby ones. Well, yeah, ones are um, five kilos. Five kilos big. Uh, this is very small. Very, very small. But that's an old tree. It's fucking huge. Seriously. It's a huge tree, that bastard. All right, get out of here. Snakes scare me. Checking, checking, looking, bang. All right, all right, a couple of frongs up here. All right, guys, well, we're gonna start picking up these last ones and head back up because I gotta feed the animals in it's lunchtime. So that's my morning, I only do half days now. So like, um, we don't have enough money to pay the staff a full day's wages, so we only just do half a day now. That's all we, excuse me, that's all we do now, is half a day. So me, myself and I are going to say TTFN, thanks for watching guys, and we'll get some more videos out coming on the short videos on the front of the house, which I'll take you to now. <sighs> Stay away from the garden bed, or we'll have a walk here. Mm. So when we when when we built the house, there used to be a big drain used to run where the fence is now. It's be a big drain used to run all the way down here. Used to cut down here into the creek, then go further down and cut down where the dip is. So this here used to be a vegetable garden that uh, we made for chick and uh, that's before all these trees were put here and the old fence that Papa put in. And now they've pulled it all down, filling all the drains. And um, so I'm going to show you the, the end. The end of this video guys is going to be um, a walk in the past and there's going to be chick in a vegetable garden that used to be along here and I'm also going to put at the end of that when um, I had the raised beds so I made all this was all cement in them days big cement when they made the house fucking wasted heaps and uh, Clute and I made uh, it was four boxes of garden beds this is the last one that was left so we made wooden wooden boxes so that chick could see what it's like to have a raised garden whether she likes a raised garden or not and if she doesn't then um we're not going to worry about it, it just rots, rots away no matter what you do with the wood we put heaps and heaps of um some oil on it but it's still just rotted away but uh said so if you like these ones we had four here one i think it was one two three four somewhere around here anyway there's four four beds along here so i said if you like them and uh you know being a raised bed so you don't bend then i'll make cement ones for you you know with drain holes underneath and all that type of shit but um, she wasn't that keen in it, so I just said, oh, fuck it, and we just pulled them apart as they rotted away. So that will be on the end of this video as well. So you see what the garden was like before when Chick had it as a garden with all her veggies. Then you'll see it with me building all the um, planter boxes through there. And that's our walk back through memory lane. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao. What are you doing, baby? All the tomatoes, onions, corn, sweet basil. You got everything, baby. Well, here we are out in the uh, veggie garden, the morning cleanup. All the tomatoes growing through here. And uh, scroll down. All... What do you got there, baby?
just from the fridge that's like I top of the the greens and left the whitish part and so I planted them and this oh. is how they are now. Corn, tomatoes, amazing babe. These are my baby pepper, like pepper, capsicums, but I have Asian capsicums. Really good fiber for you. What's it? The morning glory. Oh, morning glory. Mm. They prepared last week, so they're all growing now. Even the rubbish are growing. <laughs> I throw them here and they're all growing. I have to clean the base because they're gonna eat. He's checking the garden. The tomatoes, the corn, onions. Sweet basil, morning glory, lemongrass, 